And let's get into this next story where actor Dwayne Johnson hey, met with a $4.8 billion lawsuit. They, see, this was tripping about the court system. Like, The Rock has been killing it, not only monetarily, but in terms of like reputation. And then he gonna get sued for more than he got. Cause I know he been killing, he ain't got 4.8 billy on it, but somebody thinks that, hey, shoot for the stars and land on the moon. All right, so Dwayne Johnson has been in the limelight the last couple of weeks for a reason that many would not have expected. Raise your hand if you didn't expect this. Right here. The Rock, alongside his business partner, Danny Garcia. Y'all know who Danny Garcia is? Yeah, his business partner is his ex-wife. That's how different The Rock is, man. That's special right there. And several other defendants have been named in the lawsuit by Trenisha Biggers. <laughs> wow. Woo. So one, I love clowning names. So if you get offended by that, this might not be the show for you because I love clowning names, including my name, because my name gets butchered all the time and I laugh it off. Trenisha Biggers? Oh, that sounds like some Chappelle show stuff. Somehow, some way, we need the Chappelle show back to get at Trenisha Biggers. But she will be the type to sound. Sounds like she's suing for billions of dollars. Oh, also known by her ring name. Y'all remember that? Raka Khan. Raka Khan. Raka Khan. Raka Khan. I like that one though right there. A legend kidnapping. Okay, I should stop smiling now. May be real. The lawsuit was just moved forward in court. Alleges that Johnson and Garcia hired three men to forcibly remove Biggers from her Tampa home. Uh oh. From there, the former wrestler says she was taken to a Miami hotel, physically, emotionally abused. Also says she was threatened by Johnson and Garcia. While neither of the two has spoken publicly, a joint statement from their legal team shared that they categorically deny any involvement in the alleged incident. Look forward to clearing their names in court. So all you can say, it's the worst. You guys ever been accused of something? Raise your hand, I have, okay. You get accused of something, then you get lawyered up. And when you get lawyered up and you have to talk to the police, less is more, right? So the less you say, the more it's gonna help you. It's crazy though, because it's counterintuitive. You almost think, man, I ain't do nothing. Let me just say this and let me just get, I wasn't even there, you know? And that actually comes back to haunt you more times than not. So you gotta put out these blanket statements and just say nothing even though you know you want to go there and say it all. All right, so a court date has yet to be announced. No other statements issued. All right, now this is interesting. The Texas court indicates that Bigger still has a bench warrant out for her after not appearing for a criminal trial in 2022 in Texas where she was to face charges of interference with child custody and, check this out, aggravated kidnapping facilitate. Wow. So she literally suing somebody for kidnapping and she had a charge against her for kidnapping, basically. All right, the lawsuit, Dwayne Johnson sat stale for months. Court records show that Biggers paid the court fees in full, allowing the case to go forward. Now, Trenisha Biggers, see, now all of a sudden, you can see the powers that be. For whatever reason, likability, let's just start there. I'm gonna read y'all some stuff on Trenisha Biggers because they already trying to slant it or stain our brain in terms of who Trenisha Biggers is beyond her name. Currently on the El Paso Police Department's wanted list and back in 2019 was placed on El Paso's most wanted fugitive list for child custody charges. Yep, you are messing with a big dog. Other defendants in the Dwayne Johnson lawsuit include state of Texas. Damn, she's suing the whole state. <laughs> I lived in Dallas. Would you imagine this happened when I was in Dallas playing for the Cowboys when I sucked and then she going to sue me too? I'm like, what do you mean? I ain't even doing nothing out here. The El Paso Child Protective Services, the Las Cruces, New Mexico Police Department, NYPD. Whoa. Wait a minute. New Mexico, Texas, <laughs> NYPD. Damn, girl, why don't you just sue, sue the U.S. of A? The National Center for Missing and Exploited Children, New York ACS. Um, yo. She's suing the Q-Dogs. She's suing the Omega Psi Phi fraternity. Shirley Police Department. I ain't know Shirley grew up to have a police department. I remember Shirley from the eighth grade, big Shirley. Oh, Sigma Phi Epsilon, I think that's Sigmas, yeah. Suffolk County, New York, the whole county. <laughs> Bank of America, Home Depot. <laughs> and even the FBI. Whoa, why am I laughing? I'm only laughing because she's suing so many people. You know how many enemies you're gonna have? 
even if you win this, where are you going to go, girl? Amid the lawsuit, multiple reports have indicated that Dwayne Johnson is no longer being considered for a role in the Pirates of the Caribbean. Oh, man. But his relationship with Disney is still strong. I want to talk a little bit about that as The Rock will star. Thank God. Thank God. In the live action movie still, Moana. Moana, make way, make way. If they would have messed with Moana, oh, I don't care. Uh, he could have used me for alibi. I lied for the rock to be back in Moana. Oh, no, the be so big. Oh, I need that movie is up there with Lion King. It ain't Lion King because I'm just not going to give you credit for being Lion King. But damn it, Moana's amazing. I've seen it a thousand times. Okay, so they're set to begin filming this October. What was your reaction to hearing everything I just said, y'all? Show me in the comments. My reaction was, wow. It did go to a place where, is this, is this real or fake? I don't know. Evidence is going to tell me that. I know The Rock personally. I've been on Ballers a few times. I knew him. We used to go to the same gym, see him all the time, blah, blah, blah. I think he's an amazing guy. I know a lot of amazing people and I, even some people that I know that have done some really bad things. Like I know a murderer, right? Being real. Um, this guy, 98% of the time is an amazing cat. This one guy I'm talking about. The other 2%, I'm sorry y'all, everybody don't know, but you could go there. So my point of that is with The Rock, when he was what? When he only had $8, I think that's the name of his production company, $8, when he was down to his last $8. Who was that guy? You know, who was he in character? I would love to testify and tell everyone how amazing The Rock is, but can you do that for everybody you know to the fullest, to the 100%? It's going to be interesting to see what comes from this, but I'm glad that Disney is treating him as an innocent guy until proven guilty. Except there's a little hypocrisy in there because he's not being allowed for the Pirates of the Caribbean movie. Ah, what are we going to do about that? If you're innocent until you're proven guilty, you should be allowed to have all the opportunities you would have had even after the accusations. 